far distance, there was nowhere to run in hallowed ground, and Genesis Ignite returns to the heart of Batley in the UKW Arena. I'm the Wildcat Tommy Dillon, joining me this week, none other than the big man who returned, surprisingly, a couple of weeks ago, Big Duncan, welcome to Genesis Ignite. I'm looking forward to this, it should be uh, an interesting experience for me, seeing some of the... Uh the newer talent coming through. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Yeah, we've got so much to come tonight in this audience. I'm sure they are prepped and ready, and we are going to start out with... Well, Ooh, we are starting yeah. out... Oh, here we go. Oh, right. God, yeah. Let's get it over with. Yeah, bring Let's get out. it over with. Making his way to the ring at this time... in a cage doll. Use Rapture Abushin, I believe. So you want a warm up match? I'm pushing with this. The special showcase, the special event of Genesis Ignite. You know what? No. No, oh, that's a surprise. Shot. Yeah, big tough what champion right there. And it's said the first people who are not good. You know what? No, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Bishop's leaving that ring, it ain't because Jacob Reed told him to. No, no, he's got what he wanted. He knows what he's doing. He's got what he, he wanted. Knows he doesn't need no tell. Oh. You've got this. And is this going to be as bad as it was last week? You know, Left me and JP have the loss of words. I use a word quite often, and I think it's safe to say that we do have the bitch in the ring. Oh, yeah, Elton John knew what he was talking about with her. Loyalty, 
maybe the title was the thing me along the way. It means nothing. It means nothing at all. Sonia does not care about telling Sarah what they think of her. I don't need one thing. I need the real truth. And that is, you can't get respect without power. And that is what this group means to me. Power! Uh, I've got to agree with that, Jacob. Yeah. We have this absolute beast of a man, Sebastian Mercer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, you've got to be professional. The technical wizard, Clint Harrison. I'll give him that. I'll give I him would that. have agreed with that a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think, I think, you know, whatever has gone wrong with Cliff, he is. This absolute giant of a man. You look at him and tell me that respect and loyalty and being a good symbol of hope got him that title. There's a word for that and she's full of it. I wonder how much she's charged for that. Mm. You almost had to mortgage that title for it. The mask is coming up and it's time you take the arm off as well. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. But you know what? We don't dwell on things here. This is no commercials, no breaks. This is wrestling. This is Wednesday night. Ignite. Let's get to the action. Who have we got? Well, making a... Technical. The following match is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Making his way to the ring. We've all been guilty of uh, having an ego, I suppose. Yeah, you can't be in wrestling without it. And his opponent, Tom Savage! This guy has been impressing me since Ignite started. I got to admit, I love this guy. The guy is no small man, he's got, and he knows how to use that power. Every night at the same time, he has got that speed, that agility, and that viciousness. Quality. Quality, that's why they love him. Ring the bell. Oh, God. Every night started up again. Oh, boy. You know, Tom, it only takes one shot to shut someone's mouth, so I say go for it. There's eight tons of ability, but... Yes! That's what I like to see. Why bother waiting for them to shut up? Just shut them up yourself. Oh, straight in there with the shoulders. Oh, big line. 
Whoa! Oh. Big belly to belly right there. This might be over quickly. One, but no, Evan Knight, he's got that tenacity about him. Yeah, like I say, a lot of talent, and he's not as easy to uh, put away, but... He's got that tenacity about him, and he's... Uh, how can I put this? Evan Knight, not to be underestimated. No. Just right there. Just there. Turn this match around. That's all it takes, it's just one moment to turn the match around. It does, but obviously, you know, when you're aiming he's, those feet. he's using every ability he can, and you've got to yeah. respect that, unfortunately, although he's... Oh, and he's taking him to the people now. Do you know, that move has worked for me many, many times, um, but it isn't the right way to go around no, about it, things. It's, uh, it, it isn't the right way to go, but as you but say, he is, it is he's, effective. It is effective, and he is single in the areas, he's making him tired, he's taking the air out of his body. He knows that Tom's bigger than him, and he knows Tom's stronger than him, so the best way to do it is to ground and pound. Oh, disrespect Whoa. there. Yep. Savage trying to fight back, back but... Bite you in the ass. Savage trying to fight back there, but Evan cutting him off very quickly. Big kicks. And you look at those long legs of Evan Knight, he can swing those anywhere. So much power behind him. Now he's... Now come on, again, referee. Again, working to the referee's car. Oh, God. Take someone's head off with a move like that. What? Is Tom going down? Oh, Tom? I think Tom he's taking too it. long for this one. Oh. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, the way Tom was jelly like then, that might have just been instinct. It could have been, it could have been. But this is where Tom is in his own. He, you know, when you are in that ring, instinct is a huge part. Yeah. Big line. Yeah, and these people really trying to bring Tom back to life here, but. Evan not really giving them a chance. Oh! Even at that thigh. Well, anybody who's ever taken a dead leg knows how bad that can be. Oh, and it hurts. It oh, hurts. it hurts. It's horrible. Every one of them kicks hit the exact same spot. Oh! Wow, is that, is that like a mini coup de grace? Yeah, so that caught him right square in his sternum and. Oh. And again, you see, this is, this is clever wrestling. Have He's attacking the same area over yeah. and over again. Yeah, and he's, he's methodically chopping him, chopping him down. To be fair, his kicks sound like they're a chop. Yeah. Again, working the air out of Tom. Tom, big guy, you know, someone starts choking you. It's, it's tough to get air back into that body. Thing is, referee is it, having to interfere there. Yeah, the thing is, is Evan getting a bit too interested in annoying the audience? Could that end up costing him the match? Because if the referee gets that five count, he doesn't hear him because of the audience. This could be over. Yeah. I, know Tom, I know Tom doesn't want to win like that, but a win's a win. A win's a win, yeah. As you well know. Doesn't matter as long as you get your hand raised at the end. But Listen to this audience. Fighting for the old rock star there. Oh, oh here we go. Tom Zudum. This, this is what happens you take too long. Oh, big scent on there. How much of it did he get? Not that enough for a close. pinfall. That was close. And this is what happens. It's a cat and mouse game. Evan has yeah. been playing the cat, giving him a little bit. Tom is working his way back in. Exchanging blows here. It's Oh, Evan's got him in the front face lock here, trying to cut off that oxygen. It's almost a guillotine. Oh, wow. Oh, this has got a lot of Tom speed not... to it. Oh, oh flapjack. That's going to buy Tom some time, get his breath back. It is, get some hair into that body. Oh, he's going up. We all know what this is leading to. Oh, my God. One of Tom's oh pattern my God. moves. Oh, my God. Oh, big cross body. Wow. It's not often you referee, see big guys fly. Yeah, referee out of position there, otherwise that could have been over, but give it to Evan Knight on the kick out there. I mean, how much does that actually take out of you? Oh, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah, taking them, I've given them, and when you get that, whoa! 
Oh, sweet. And that takes even more out of you. Two and three quarters. Count. Another close count. It's getting. It's all. I almost feel. What does Tom have to do? But at the same point, what does Evan have to do? Whoa, what does Evan on. have to do? Oh, quick move. Oh, oh massive leg right there across the chest, taking him down. This audience thought it was over there and Tom kicking out has brought them to life. That had to be 2.9999999. Evan, Evan, Evan though, it took something out of him as well. It did, it did yeah, because he was uh, going for a, a big finish there and hoping it was over, but he wasn't prepared for what if it wasn't over. Again. Again. Tom firing up. Oh. Big, big hands. Oh, Strange they fight back. Oh, the kick, the kicks. The kicks. The kicks. The kicks. Got him on the ropes now. Tom's inviting it. I think every one of those shots is bringing Tom back to life. Every one of them shots isn't exactly bringing Evan back to life though, is it? Oh. Now he's got him up. Fireman's carry and oh, big Samoan drop right there. Oh, wait a minute. Has Tom got it? Oh up? my god. I'm not, this I'm this not is sure. high risk for a reason. Yeah, this it. Tom Big is taking a huge risk. I have, never, that now. I have never seen him on that rope before, so this could be a huge thing. Oh. oh, massive elbow into the chest. It's got to be over. It is over, it is Tom! It is over. Tom Savage with a huge victory right there over Evan Knight. Give credit to Evan now because he, nope. he has fought hard there against a bigger if it, opponent. If he just it was more technical, more finishing, what, took his chances earlier, it could have been a different story. Well, rather disheartened Evan Knight right there after losing to Tom Savage, but we digress. We are getting straight back to the action right now. Duncan, bring him on out. Friends, I've just beat his ass a few times. Yeah. Good time. But I'll tell you what, he's got one hell of an opponent in. And his opponent.
man, I was sub right there when he made his debut. And I'm look, so looking forward to seeing him beat up Sebastian Mercer now. Well, that's a new one. That's a new one. It could be so much better though, couldn't it? Oh, it I could mean, be, yes. Of all the dog breeds that you could have, Chihuahua's pretty tame. That's kind of the point. So I love the, it. I'm sure honest, there's a little Japanese dog that uh, <laughs> would describe Sebastian Mercer so much better. Yeah, to be honest, I reckon a Chihuahua it, could easily take Mercer. And it, and it does sound like a, like oh, a sneeze. Mercer Look. going low already. Thing is, how can you concentrate on this match when you've got to listen to these lot on the outside? Uh, yeah, I mean... It's like Kurt Cliff Harrison over there looking like he's giving them some kind of wrestling lesson. And Mercer, yeah. with no respect to Brett Sedgwick. Oh, but Brett going high. I tell you what, I said, I said it. I said Mercer went the low, Brett goes high. I begged and pleaded to be able to come and sit here tonight just because I wanted to see Brett Sedgwick. Yeah, Brett Sedgwick. Listen, right there, honourable guy, but Mercer, oh. I should, he should have seen that one coming because Mercer has no honour. Oh. Whoa. Oh, nice. That fist to the chest right there. Mercer tried running through it. It might have been a bad idea. And he's down, and he's going up again. Oh, look at that. Oh, but, oh. oh Mercer was prepared this time, took him down. And he's going back low again. Grounding and pounding the young Sedgwick. Oh, my God. Practically broke him in half right there. Wow. And well done to Sedgwick for kicking wow. out on that one. The fact that Cedric had any lower back strength to kick out of that is amazing. It's just an unbelievable resilience. There's no giving those turnbuckles. He's getting that far the minute, the front. There's no giving them strikes. No. That's the point, he's getting those strikes in the chest and all that's behind him is a turnbuckle. There's no give. No. I just kind of feel that. Having, having obviously former member of the Persian Empire. Oh, come on, the, referee! The numbers game surely is going to come into this, and oh, no doubt the dogs of war can't go into a battle without the numbers game. I mean, look, just, Brett Sedgwick comes out here alone. Sebastian Mercer is practically twice his size, and he still needs the three amigos on the outside. Hard, hard buckles. Yes. They're not. I know I deliver them in, deliver them to people, and they, I know that they are unforgiving. Exactly, you deliver them for a reason. Uh, if he is choking him out, ref, that's a disqualification. Check, check where that elbow is, ref. Trying to fight back up here. Taking those shots to the sternum. Pushing him it off. Some the... space. Oh, Mercer let him go, sucking him in. Come on, bro. Oh, wait a minute, it's turning into a Boston Crab. Oh my god. If he cinches this in, oh, it's not looking good. All that but all that weight of Mercer coming down on Brett's Come back. On. Come on, Brett, you can do this. If he cinches this in, it's he's over. He's in the centre of the ring as well, he's got nowhere to go. The Saudi is fighting for it, but... Ring. Oh! Oh! Right, he was in the last... To, that has to take it, pretty much everything yeah. Brett's going, unless I he just... can get some... Get some offense. Well, as you say, Mercer didn't have it cinched in properly, so Brett was able to use that leg strength to get out. Big forearms. And really, Mercer needs instructions from Harrison about punching back harder. Oh my god. Oh my god. What Brett with that handstand springboard. Just getting nailed with that lariat. Wow. They're still fighting back. That's a spirit that has been imbued in him since birth. 
don't know about you, but you know, they, they're calling the dogs of war. They seem very, very tame at the moment. Oh, tell me about it, yeah. I mean, we've, get, we've had uh, Service Guy doing uh, her best to right. cheer on Mercer. We've got Jacob, who's clearly not happy with anybody in the crowd. No surprise there. Yeah. And, and Cliff just, you know, being Cliff, he's... Yeah, Cliff just talks. I don't Cliff even think he knows what he talks, talks about well, now, but... Ironically, we've never heard it from Cliff since he actually joined the Dogs of War. It's talking why he joined the Dogs of War. He's certainly not talented. Well, we're him. fighting out that leg lock now, and this audience uh, that are with him. Yeah. Oh, and he's sending him off. Yeah. Oh, how did that buckle? And came in on top of him. Oh, God. Give Mercer his credit, he knows what he's doing. He's using his strength, his size, against the smaller opponent. Yeah, he, he's, he's basically cut the ring off. He knows why he's, he's using every single bit of the ring. He's using every single tactic. Oh, my God. Um, Rest and he, he might be on the other side of his leg now. Yeah. Again, though. I'm not going to keep him down, though. Again, though, he is relentless. He is working every single aspect of young Sedgwick. Oh, Brett's fighting back. He is. Oh, oh we fight. It's oh. oh, nothing better. That was the leg that Mercer was trying to destroy earlier. It just went against him. Mercer with that ring awareness, able to grab that rope. Yeah, probably uh, a bit of Sedgwick inexperience, possibly there for ring ring positioning, just leaving it a little too close to uh, to the rope. But. Well, both of them are still down. This could be a double count out right here. But no, Brett's showing some life. He's up to his knees now. Counts been broken. Yeah. This audience coming alive for Brett Sedgwick. This high-flying live wire has brought them alive! Alright, he took Mercer down with that clothesline. Mercer's right back up. Taking him down again. Mercer throwing one. Right, taking him down with that drop kick right there. Very close. Very close, yes, but very, Mercer waiting until the last close. minute so to to not expend too much energy. I think Brett was looking to end this right there. But Mercer getting those elbows in. Oh, oh that has to be a big, massive mistake. Oh, there, yes. Man. Oh, yes. And here he is. This is why he's a high flying live wire. He's going to fly. Crap off the ring! Get that bearded goon right off the ring right there! Oh! Again, bide him time. Oh. That might not be good for the next generation of Sedgwick. Uh, but no. I tell you what, if uh, Jacob Rigg was not on that was not on the ring right there, Brad had this one. God! No, come on! No! Come on! No. Care what anyone says, Sedge, we got this match won. Your winner by pitfall, Sebastian Mercer. I mean, let's be, let's be fair, was Brett ever in that match? Uh, it was very, very dominant display from, from the Chihuahua. Oh, come on! Get off him! You just cost him the win, get off him! Yeah, you're real good at beating somebody when they're already beat, aren't you? Jeez, come on! And this, no, somebody, this is somebody the whole do something. Low. Can we get security out here? Come on! Oh, come on, ref! Get in there. Yeah. I tell you what, Kirsten Riley, he does have a score to sell with the Dogs of War because he pinned Jacob Reed last week. Yeah. 
That's right, run like a little girl there, Cliff. Yeah, come on, Jacob. I thought you liked beating up people. Come on, guys, there's four of you and one of him. Don't you like it that way? I think, I think the difference here is the steel chair. The difference here is he stood up straight. Very true. Yeah. And, uh, and here... Notice when Brett was stood up straight, none of them I mean, wanted to jump in, did they? I mean, is that not the beast of uh, the dogs of war, then? Well, I had the beast of a man, and what did you call this guy? Uh, princess. Yeah. No, that's what we call him. Oh. <laughs> Come on, step up! Come on, it's just one guy. He's got a chair. Oh, he's got oh. a chair. There's four of you. Everyone's steel chair. Well, you've got a, you've got a beast. Oh. You're telling me the big bad champion doesn't like steel chairs. You've got a chihuahua. Yeah. 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 Come on, I thought you were a beast of a man. Go fight him. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, I, and I don't want to talk to you full stop. Oh, Come on, look at them. Oh, oh, whatever. Don't get yourself in the middle of the Exactly. Case and Reed, well, Case and Riley, excuse me, taking out Jacob Reed and the rest of the Dogs of War right there. But we are getting into it now with. Is this right? Best of seven. Best of seven. Best this of was seven. a feud that was a grudge and has built into a best of seven. Match two. Last week, Bishop got the first one. Newman's looking to draw this week. Let's get down to it. Good morning, Matt. It's scheduled for one fall. And his best of seven, match two. Making his way to the ring. He is the forsaken one. Brent Newman! I know he's still got the shirt. For now, I mean, anybody will remember. Anybody will remember. Brent Newman. And his shirt ripped open by Bishop several weeks ago. AKA, I heard Chopzilla. Oh, yes. There's some guys out there that can give big chops. I'm going to give credit to myself for Khan for guy. his chop power. Yeah. Bishop is on a whole different level. Oh, but Bishop just delivers it with so much, how can I put it, so much ego. Bishop's a trained fighter, he will f deliver it as hard as he can. His opponent, Bishop! And here comes the number one contender for the Genesis Championship. He will be facing, he will be facing Jacob Reed at Pushing Limits, which will air right before UKW Retribution on the 29th of November. Genesis bring to that show. As of right now, Bishop is looking to finish this as quick as possible to get back to his title run. Our title chasing, I should say. Without shadow of a doubt, then. In all fairness, Bishop has all the qualities that he's required to be a champion. He does. Um, he's certainly becoming a very firm fan favourite. Of course, he's very skilled. Skilled fighter. He's got a personality to, be, to go around all over. Yeah. <laughs> this audience isn't really giving Newman much of a chance, are they? Uh, not really. I mean, in all fairness... Um... Newman's trying his best to stand up against Bishop, but that might just be whistling through the graveyard right there.
Call an elbow tie up. I think we all know where this is going. Oh, no. They're holding it on. Oh, wait a oh, minute. No, no. Oh. Uh, Newman nice. taking the hair and then taking him down. Nice arm drag, but the problem is all you're going to do is infuriate an angry man. Oh. Wow. Deceptive strength there by, by Newman. I've mentioned it before. But he's but, back up. But all he's going to do yep. is make that guy angry. Exactly. Don't turn your back on Bishop. For God's sake, he's right back up. And the one thing I will I learned by facing Bishop, end it quick. Because yeah. the longer the match goes, Whoa. the confidence grows, and he gets angry and angry. I thought Bishop was going for that for the ending there, but no. Bishop's gonna run the right for the ring. Big forearm, oh. reverse elbow. Knew we might have learned something now because he's going straight back in. No man, he's still up. Well, at least he's talking to people. Yeah, but at the wrong time. <laughs> what, what, what is he forsaken for? Is he forsaken for an ass whooping? Well, he's taken plenty from Bishop. Wow. But I say Bishop that just as he puts Bishop feet. down. The thing is that. I, Newman is very deceptive in how he comes across. He, he comes across like you think he'd be a bit of a fool, yeah. but he can actually fight. He can, yes. I've said it before, he's got deceptive strength, he's got deceptive speed. But the thing is, he's in his head too much. Because look, Bishop's it, down. All it takes is the crowd to get into his head. And it's just not good enough. And yeah. in all I think he had Bishop that, down all that time, and he chose to talk to them before going for the pin. Where is the sense How many in that? times do we say, oh, hook the leg? Yes. Hook the leg. Yes. And he, again, he's not hooking the leg. He's all nonchalant. The bigger the guy, you want him to have as much problems trying to kick out. At the minute, it's yeah, not going to happen. And right there, he's pushing him closer to the ropes. He's giving Bishop every chance to get out of this. Whoa! Oh. Bishop is giving it back. This is what I said. You anger him. I'm not sure how much of that he got. But Newman is down. Well, he got enough. Oh, oh, and there goes another shirt. Again. Oh no. This ain't looking good, Newman. Oh, hang on. We're going for the Death Valley driver here. Whoa. Dropped him like a sack of spuds. What's this guy doing here? Hey, you men, where's your shirt, brother? Where's your t-shirt? 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 Well, Jacob's out here, so that can't be a good sign. Now, Jacob's distracting Bishop right there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, hang on. There's not going to be the tights right there. No, no. Oh, God. Well... No. Protecting him from Bishop, because when Bishop breaks through that wall, Jacob Reed, well, his moments are numbered. He's making an angry man there. Right, a very controversial night so far, but this right here it's is amazing. our main event. Wow. 
And it's one that you should be prepared for after two matches ago. Take us to it, Duncan. The following match is your main event and is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, he is a member of the Ducks of War. What a shot. Cliff Harrison, as good as he is. And his opponent, Carson Riley! He's going to have a fight on his hand because Genesis champion Jacob Reed could not get past this guy. And he is here to fight. He's here for a scrap. JPL last week said all this guy's qualifications. And he is This guy, this guy has got endless amounts of talent, and endless amounts of prospects. He could go anywhere. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. But you know... Oh, Cliff Harrison saying he doesn't need his dogs of water bravery. But you know, we're saying that about Casey and Riley. Same could be said about Cliff Harrison, if he wasn't, you know, with a Jacob Lap dogs. I, I just don't care. Cliff Harrison, adored by all the fans. Yes. And the Still wrestles. hasn't told us why he sidelined with the Dogs of War. It makes no sense. Yeah. I don't get it. He's far more talented. And yeah. now he's playing second fiddle. Yeah, I'm looking at these two right here now and I'm wondering if you pull the if you pull the other guy's shirt up from around his waist, do you win the match? <laughs> so both guys shirt hanging from their waist. They have, they have. It could be like it could be a whole new type of match, you know. Yeah. Tag right. shirt match yes. or something. Yes. Like Pat, that. Pat and pending wildcard Tommy Dillon. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. One, two, three. Oh. Cliff pulling back there but giving him that shot just to make a point. Casing off the ropes. Oh. Cliff trying for the power game there, but oh, Casey's gonna... no small man. The thing is, we've seen Cliff wrestle countless matches. He is oh. And there's the strength of Casey Riley. Oh, big avalanche. Sidewalk slam. Oh. Hey, I'm going to do this guy for gimmick infringement. That's my move. Oh, big senton right there. Well, Cliff, former Genesis champion, he can't be held down easy. And this again, another point. Former Genesis champion playing second fiddle to Jacob Reed. It, it's, it's a dark day in the Cliff side. So. Yeah, especially when you consider that Reed actually beat him for the title. Yeah, yeah. Now, what was um, it? If you can't beat him, join him. And he's the old adage, although you never joined me. Why did you not? Because I have a different idea. It's if you can't beat him, you're not hitting hard enough. And that's what Kirsten Ryland was just doing here. With our shadow of a doubt. You don't, have, you don't have to join him, you can just fight harder. We see Cliff here, he's in control. He, he's such a technical wrestler. Yeah, he's right down on the knee right now. He's a joy to watch, because he is a master of his art. He is, yes. Unfortunately, he's not a joy to be around right now. No, he's a bit of a grumpy so-and-so, uh, and so and i have noticed that in the locker room. He, he doesn't talk, and, no. you know, you go to talk to him, and there's Jacob there, and Mercy there. Yeah, I know. Now I mean, you've got that other thing there. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh, God, I have taken that. Ooh. 
And if he has hit that square on the nose, he could have. You know, his equilibrium is totally gone. Yeah, he's. This could be over. Could be in dream speed. Then instinct, instinct. Yeah, not the strongest of kickouts, but a kickout nonetheless. Jason Riley, certainly a fighter. Jason Riley is a big guy. And we say this a lot about a lot of these guys in Ignite. They're big guys, powerful oh, guys. He's going down here. This might be it right here. Oh, no. Cliff back up. And big once boot. again, massive foot to the face. Cliff there just pointing out what a difference between a kick and a boot is. So he was trying to bring Kirsten back and Kirsten fighting massive uppercut right there. Holy oh, blood. Cliff's trying to fight. Kirsten bringing it back. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Very good. Very effective maneuver right there by Kirsten Riley. Not only has he got his shakalaka. Yeah, he's got his opponent down and he may just have time to get his bearings back. There we go. Got the he's finish. Saying, this is this, this could be devastating. Cliff, 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 once again. Again. Oh, out. Oh, oh. He's going for it. Well, the three Swing the breakers, hips. Yeah. I used to love this move. Yeah, I thought it was going for Maria then, but oh, oh. God. I did. I, I genuinely used to love this move. Yeah. Now I just think. Well, extra oomph right, right there on that last one. Cliff. Oh. You know, that's going to take some getting out of. Two right. Cliff's got him down and he's... Uh... You see, this is, this is what gets me most about Cliff right now. His, his arrogance is getting too much for him. He gets someone down and then he's got to show off about it. But he's getting frustrated. He's yeah, getting frustrated exactly. Because exactly. in his eyes, this should be over. In his eyes, Casey Riley should lay down for him. And, and been around Jason what, Riley oh. is not going to give in. Absolutely is, not. Whatever you give him, he's going to give you harder. Yeah. At the minute, just exchanging blows. Big line there. Back elbow. Back with him. Cliff on Dream Street. Swing and a miss. Whoa. I knee. Cliff is all over the place. Oh! oh. Massive spine buster into a jackknife. Oh wow! Didn't get the full body on body there. Otherwise, he may have had that pinfall right there. But I've got to give that to Cliff. What? Yeah. What? Again. He was raised high and he came down hard, and he still managed to he kick still out. Still managed to kick out. And as much as I dislike Cliff, hey, I dislike him even more. Can't, I can't. can't take away his ability. But Absolutely not. The guy is—he's here for a reason. He is a great wrestler, but. He is, but I think the longer Carson's in this match. Oh, definitely. Oh, as we say that, it takes a huge satellite yeah. into the... Again, it just takes a moment for Cliff to just get one move. No. Oh. If you're not going to hook the leg, that yeah. buys you that extra... Well, once... Again. No, once again, this is what I'm saying about Cliff. Since he joined the Dogs of War, he has got way too arrogant. He's showing off, and he thinks that his opponent should lay down for him. Yeah. But that's not going to happen. This is wrestling. And this is Case and Riley. I mean, what we... What we... Oh, Case and asking for it. Cliff giving it harder. This is, this is not good. This is not good for the... Cliff Harrison here. You do not want well, fired up Carson. Oh, well, they're really going for it now. Oh, oh he calls that move the oh, kiss in point. This that's might be over right here. One, two, three. Yeah. Kiss and Riley hitting the kiss in point and finishing this match dominantly. Well, we Cliff can't beat him. This guy is climbing the ranks. He is 
guy. He is wild, Lebron. Yeah. Jacob Reed, all Bishop, whoever's going to get out the year. Uh, I'd like, I'd like to say, you know, give it up one like more time what? for Cliff Harrison, but you know, at the end of the day. Na 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 na. Hey, goodbye. You deserve it. What did you do? I've got no idea. You I seem to make friends everywhere you go. I think I, did, I think I didn't send him a birthday card or something. Maybe a Valentine. Wow, what a victory right there with Casey and Riley. Hitting him with the Casey in point for the one, two, three. That guy is going places. Well, that is all the time we have for this week's Wednesday Night Hello. Night. Big Duncan. It's been a pleasure. And again, wow, what a finish. Yeah. Wow. We will see you all next week. I'm the Wildcat Tommy Dillon. He is Big Duncan. Have a good one.